Hello everyone, welcome again. In our previous video, we saw that how we can configure the log for net from the code. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about the XML configuration part. That is, we are going to provide the same configuration, but this time we will specify it inside the application configuration file that is app config file. So to provide the configuration inside the app.config file, the steps are slightly different. The first thing is that inside the config section, that is under this tag, we need to specify the name of section which will contain the configuration for log, log 4net. And also we need to specify the class which is going to read that section. So first, specify the section name and class which will read the section. So here I will use the section tag, specify the name as log for net. You can specify some other name also, but I use the name as log for net just to make it similar to the library name that is log4net and after that you need to specify the class name so that will be specified using the type attribute so again if I go to my SDK documentation for log4net so inside the log4net config namespace there is a class called log4net configuration sectional section handler so this is the class we are going to use to read the section for net okay now once this is done the second step is to specify the section which contain the required configuration create the section with configuration so here I will create the section and name should be log4net so log4net and inside this section I'm going to specify my configuration so as we did in the code that first we'll create the appender then specify the configuration similar process we are going to follow in the app config also so first we will create the appender appender provide the name to the appender so let us start with the console appender console appender so this is the class name is console and the class is this along with the namespace okay so here I have created the information about appender that what is the name and which class need to use to create this appender make sure that whenever you are specifying the class use the type attribute and whenever you are specifying the value for an attribute use the value attribute so after that we will create the layout so layout name equal to pattern pattern layout and type equal to the class name for the pattern layout so this is the class name after that we need to specify the conversion pattern so conversion pattern and value so this is an parameter and we need to specify its value so that's why I'm using the value attribute whereas in our previous case I was using the type to specify that this is the class or this is a type you need to use to read the console appender or to create the layout so I will use the same 
conversion pattern and after that I will specify the threshold so value equal to all okay now once you have defined the appender there is a third step that is using the root tag using the root tag you need to specify which appender you want to use okay so here I will create the root tag and inside this I'm going to specify which appender I need to use so appender hyphen ref and reference to the appender name okay so in our case it is a console appender so in this manner you need to specify the configuration for log4 net if you are using the app.config file and we have simulated the same steps as we were doing from the code First we created the appender, we created the layout, provide the conversion pattern, provide the threshold and use that appender. Now in our, in our code when we were initializing the configuration we were using the basic configurator.configure but when you are using the application configuration file to provide the configuration for log4net in that case you need to use the method xml configurator dot configure so this will initialize the configuration from the app dot config file so here I will create one more public method public static i log get xml logger and again type type I will create one more field and I will name it as XML logger so if underscore xml logger equal to equal to sorry not equal to null then return this otherwise call the method that is xml configurator dot configure and create the logger equal to log manager dot get logger and type and after that return it so return underscore xml logger so in this case it is going to read all the configuration for xml file or you can say the app.config file so inside the test logger now I'm going to comment out this part this part and here I will use I log XML or let me call it logger equal to log for net helper dot get logger sorry get XML logger type of test logger okay I'm gonna put a breakpoint over here and here build this script
and run it in debug mode so this is yes this one So now first it will check for the logger object condition is false then it will call the method which will initialize the configuration from app.config file return the logger to us okay so I will continue with the execution so now if I look at the output so as you can see here this information is getting generated and this time it is reading the configuration from app.config file okay to make sure that I will make it to fatal and again run it so as you can see here only the fatal information is coming so again I will change back to all now in the similar manner you can create the appender for file as well as rolling file so again I will copy this appender and add it here I will call it as file appender I need to change the class for this So this is the class I will use the same conversion pattern I will set the threshold level to info and along with this I will specify some other parameters also so for example the name of the file and the append to file So this will be append to file value equal to true and then the name of the file. App file logger dot log. Okay. and I'm going to add this appender here again build the solution and run it so it is done so output it is giving all the level of logging information and again I will go to the project location bin debug so this is the file which got created and if I open it so now it will contain the log but it won't contain the debug log because we have specified the threshold level to info and now similarly I will create the appender for rolling file so rolling file appender specify the class name I am going to use the same pattern layout this will be all this will be error rolling app rolling file logger dot log along this along with this information I will specify the maximum file size value equal to 1 MB and 
max size roll backups 15 okay specify the appender here build it and let me delete the files and run it so it is done if you look at the output so error fatal error fatal this is because we have specified the threshold to error here this is the app, app file logger which will contain the information whose priority is greater than info and equal to info and this is the rolling file rolling file offender okay which contain debug info one error fatal okay So in this manner you can specify the same configuration from the app.config file. Just make sure that you need to call this method to initialize the configuration. Okay. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.